Hey guys, Colonel Cripple here, and doing a bit of a different video today instead of an LP, and you kind of need a break from it. Um, hands-on review, another one actually. Those of you that are new to the channel know I don't just do LP as I do hands-on reviews of uh, Windows and Mac applications. Um, today's application is called the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. That's what it's called. So let's open it up and see what it does. Well, I know what it does. I'm going to tell you what it does, though. Basically, what this does is uh, it detects the hardware and software on your computer. And uh, this is official. This is made by NVIDIA. Okay, and it, 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 it detects all the games you have installed, as you can see on the left here. And it optimizes them for the graphical settings it recommends for your hardware. So it has a nice balance between, uh, for PC gamers, uh, graphics quality and performance. So what it also does is keep your drivers up to date. Now, if you go into pre the Preferences tab here, you can, you'll can you have to go to uh, Updates and enable uh, Notify Me when updates are available and include beta updates because hardcore PC gamers will want the beta versions of uh, graphics drivers. That's just how it is for us uh, with our OCD eagle eye crap for stuff like that. Um, all right, so let's click on Batman Arkham City here. These are the current settings I have, as you see. And this is the optimal settings of what it recommends. All the ones highlighted in green. So we got anti-aliasing. It recommends that I up that dramatically. So if we click optimize, it is optimized. So when I when next time I click launch game, it will go with those settings. And you know, here's Battlefield 3, same thing. It recommends I have anti-alias on, which I don't at the moment. So I'll click optimize. And what I love about it, let's scroll up here to show you the picture, is that it shows you examples highlighted in green squares here. So if I click this, it'll say ambient occlusion, ambient occlusion, and it'll tell you which setting does which with examples on the picture and then anti-aliasing on the soldier's arm here, uh, stuff like that. So that's cool. Uh, to me, that's cool. Uh, yeah. So, okay, so let's go, let's see, let's see here. And now, there's a lot of games here. There's probably going to be a lot more for people that uh, have more installed games. So let's click. You can refresh game list if there's a game on here that you have installed but is not on here. Keep in mind, this is a beta, though. This application is a beta. Very good for a beta, admittedly, but still beta. Um, so it only detects a certain number of games that are supported. I, uh, hopefully, when it's out of beta, it will support pretty much all Steam games and most Origin games. Um, here's hoping, though. Um, so, yeah, you know, same thing. You click Optimize. One thing I don't like is that the screen resolution I have right now is 1440 by 940. And that's just the default of my monitor I have. But it always detects some games as I go to this resolution. A lower resolution, which I don't know if it really thinks I need to go to a lower resolution or if it just doesn't detect 1440 by 900 monitors. Um, it is a weird resolution. It's not true widescreen and all that, so I, I don't blame it, but it is beta, so I hope they get that fixed. And you can always send feedback if you click here at the bottom. Tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like, games that were not found, list of games that is not, you know, and you, or if none of your topics on there, you'd be like, blah, 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 send them feedback. I'm not going to send them gibberish because that would be rude of me. I've sent plenty of feedback. I'm a big fan of this application. Now, there are a lot of games here. Let's click, and you know, you don't want to click through them all over and over and over. So what you do is you click here, optimize all. They're all optimized now, and you can you, that is confirmed by these check marks here. Okay. Now, if the if these are Steam games, it will open Steam when you click launch game if it's Steam is not running. That's assuming you know the games the game you want to play is a Steam game. This program will run in the background too. So if we click here, we can see it in the background. No new updates, you know. So it'll have like a little bubble, like a new driver is available or a new optimal settings profile is available for a game. You might want to up. You might want to click optimize and update, you know. Just going to warn you about that. And all of a sudden, I sound like that guy, family guy. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. Um, it's a really good application. Let's go into the drivers tab. Now, you can check for updates. And as you can see, it's checking for updates at the bottom here. Now, if an update, if a driver goes wrong, because update, because you know, if a driver update goes wrong, it can screw with your own computer. So next time you start up your computer, you can click repair installation, or you can click the release highlights of the current driver. These are the patch notes, basically. These are all the games that it increased the performance for for the particular graphics card, or uh, or all across the board, right? So that's that. Let's go into the preferences tab and then click general here. You can view the license. You can view the supported games, which will open a web browser and show you the currently supported games for GeForce Experience. Um, 
Maybe mind you, this is for NVIDIA hardware. I, I'm sorry, ATIs. I don't know much about ATIs, so I shouldn't really talk about them too much. But I don't know if they have something like this already. If so, then good on you. You're ahead of the game. But anyway, and now these are the folders it uses. You can add folders if you wish, but chances are there's going to be nothing. This is really all the folders you need if you use the default installations on your computer as as a, as a user, end user. Um, you can on, like, automatically check for updates, driver updates. You can click how often you want them to check. Uh, once an hour is a little overkill. I usually go once a day. Um, I love this program because you can check now. As you can see, it's checking for updates down here. You can. Um, it's really, really good because you never have to check the NVIDIA site anymore every couple of days anymore to see if there's an updated driver. For you geeks out there who want the best performance on your gaming PC, you know, uh, it, it's really a, a really, really good, good, uh, it's really convenient, if you will. Uh, one thing I don't like about it, let's go to the task manager of Windows here. Uh, this is Windows 8, by the way, that is not, this is not what the start button looks like, but that'll probably be another video, that's another review for another video. As you can see, it takes up a lot of RAM, a more RAM than I'm comfortable with, especially since I'm all OCD and I always want to spare as much RAM as possible. Admittedly, 171 megs is not that much, but I would much have it. I would be much more relieved being a person with OCD. That would, uh, if it would take less. Uh, again, beta, beta. It is just a beta. It can get away with this stuff in beta, but if it, so there's not much to complain about there. But yeah, this is a free application. Uh, you can download it on the NVIDIA site. Uh, I'll probably put a link to the download in the description if you're interested. Uh, yeah, so that's all I gotta say about this game. This game, I mean this application. Derp, herp, and derp. If you liked what you saw or heard, whatever, what have you, uh, go down a little doob doob below. You can like the Facebook page. Follow me for more videos like this, or all my videos in general. And you can subscribe to the channel. That always helps as well. Give that thing a like to support my channel, and uh, my hopefully my future career. I hope to do this as a job one day. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.